Hey again, this is Joseph S. Samiego, uh, the author of the Carolingian Age series of fantasy novels, and I am here with my good friend Julio Villasis. So, Julio, real quick, uh, give us an introduction to yourself. Um, <laughs> um, Julio, mental health counselor, lover of all fantasy, sci-fi, pop culture, and all the stuff that's nerd related. There we are. So, as you can see, we're here kind of just hanging out on a Sunday afternoon playing the Game of Thrones Monopoly, and we figured we'd do a quick video. Um, so, Julio, what are some of your earlier or earliest um, memories of science fiction and fantasy? Um, one of my earliest memories is uh, watching um, the Lon Chaney Wolfman um, movie back when I was in kindergarten or first grade. We actually had a conversation of that this morning. <laughs> so, uh, since then, I've been kind of a, a big fan of the classic horror monster movie genre, but kind of evolved into fantasy and um, other things that are related to movies, even now with the whole Marvel superhero movies. So, yeah. Awesome. So, uh, we've talked in a, many <clears throat> times in the past about our love for, for different genres and one of the ones that we came across together was Dungeons and Dragons. So give me some insight in, in what your take is on the whole Dungeons and Dragons um, culture. Well I haven't been part of the Dungeons and Dragons culture in such a long time but for my what I remember is uh, I would say middle school age I guess um, 10, 11, 12, around that age, uh, um, meeting at my friend's uh, um, home in his basement and kind of having a great time role playing and, and spent hours and hours just kind of involved with some of the uh, my friend's uh, um, stories and, you know, the gameplay. Yeah. That sounds cool. I mean, that's what a lot of it is about. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think, can that maybe in a way help people who may be going through things? Um, Various things? Um, I think so. I think it uh, playing you know, in one form or another, um, Dungeons & Dragons is a platform where people can actually uh, um, escape um, or even kind of play a character that, that has certain enhanced qualities that they sometimes may wish for themselves, mm -hmm. you know, being courageous in certain situations or confronting fears that normally in the real world might, might um, paralyze certain people. Um, so it just gives them that the opportunity for escape, um, just like if you're reading a book, you yep. know, if you're really engulfed in a, um, or involved in a, in a good book, good story, it kind of takes you to that world and kind of, kind of makes you forget for just quite a bit about the reality of certain things and oh yeah so it does offer that that platform as you know Dungeons and Dragons reading movies mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's just one of those things and for each person it's different and we see that a lot with cosplaying and and with different series especially Harry Potter series and Dungeons and Dragons series and then the Star Trek mm -hmm. there's a there is a love that goes beyond just a simple mm -hmm. you, you like this series you like this mm -hmm. this uh particular book mm -hmm. and it becomes a, a part of their lives mm -hmm. and you know when when there's certain um, kids that I hear that they have a connection with some type of sci-fi or character or mm -hmm. um, any aspect of that kind of falls within that genre I kind of use that in a sense to help them first identify why they like that character and uh, help them kind of build like towards that goal you okay. know if they say for example um, they have a certain uh, fear of social anxiety or something mm -hmm. like that and they f they find themselves connected to a character that's not like that then kind of kind of help them realize okay how can they get there in a sense yeah. of, of what what needs to change or what they wish they could change within themselves to 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 um, surpass certain challenges you know, so well, that's cool that's pretty awesome I think uh I think that's something that maybe isn't looked at quite a bit, quite enough, uh, mm -hmm. in, within this genre. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like I said, we're here playing 
uh, just Game of Thrones Monopoly. Yes, we're in my mom's house, because where else would we, I'm with stuck. science fiction fancy nerds be, <laughs> playing games with someone's mom's house. And a wife. Uh, yeah, our <laughs> families are here. I'm a great joy, and I am now the Lord of High Garden. So. Um, so thank you for joining us. It was just a quick video. I want to introduce someone who is also very much part of the genre and working within trying to help people uh, in his daily life. Mm -hmm. He's just making the world just a little bit better as much as he can. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us and uh, look uh, for more videos. Take care. See ya.